Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a kerosene stove to burn with alcohol. This is a 111T, and I'll show you how you can do it. Simple and easy. Here I have a, a couple different stoves, but the one I'm trying to show you right here is the 111T. And what I've done is removed all the fuel from it and blown it out with compressed air, including the burner, by opening the spindle and blowing the compressed air through the entire um, burner and tank assembly and now that's all clean and ready to go. Next step is to get a hold of some alcohol jets and some restrictors. Now this big two burner stove you see sitting in front of me is a Homestrand Mariner 205-32A. The early models of these stoves used kerosene burners which the manufacturer converted to run on alcohol. They were sold for marine use on boats because alcohol was considered to be safer than other fuels. You can still find them commonly on eBay because they sold just a whole bunch of them. I have a whole other video that features this stove and you can see that video by clicking on the box in the upper right hand corner of your screen. If you make sure that you get the model with the kerosene burners, they can be converted back and forth from kerosene to alcohol by simply changing jets and using alcohol restrictor tube. Alcohol jets are hard to come by and this is a good source for them. There's also a supplier that's still in existence who has some, but it's hard to know how long they'll have those alcohol jets. I'll, le I'll leave a link in the description below the video. Okay, so now you can see this is the alcohol restrictor tube I pulled out of this burner. And you can see it's a, about a half inch diameter and it has holes in either end. Down inside the burner here we have the alcohol jet and I'm going to go ahead and use my NRV wrench, also a, a jet wrench, to remove that jet and show you what it looks like. Now on these older stoves they're equipped with jets that are actually marked and in our case we have this jet marked with an S which stands for spirit alcohol and that's one way you can know how if you have the right jet and also the hole in it is really really large too. Modern produced alcohol jets may not be marked with an S. So I replaced the original kerosene and white gas jet with the alcohol jet simple procedure. Only tighten it snug, don't go crazy, then insert the alcohol restrictor tube. Fuel the tank with a good quality denatured alcohol, hopefully with as much ethanol as possible. Place the fuel cap and the inner and outer burner caps and pump some pressure into the stove. The advantage with having alcohol as a fuel is you can use it to self-prime the stove as I'm doing here, opening the spindle and filling my spirit pan with the actual denatured alcohol. And then go ahead and preheat the stove as you would normally do. What I found with this particular stove setup is that the restrictor tube still had too large holes in it, allowed too much air, and did not allow the flame to light because there's simply too much air. It's too lean a mix. So unfortunately, this particular restrictor tube is not going to work with this particular stove. This is the problem when using alcohol because the range of combustion is very narrow. So I made my own air restrictor out of half inch brass hobby tubing. It's easily found at hobby stores. So through trial and error, here's the restrictor I came up with and you can see the holes are much smaller than the one that I pulled out of that stove. This is pretty much the way it needs to go for converting these to alcohol because you kind of have to tune the restrictor to the burner. In my case, my restrictor is one and a half inches long. It's made of half inch 
Thinwall hobby tubing made of brass. And at one end, there are three holes that are 3.2 millimeters in diameter. At the other end, there are four holes, two of which are 3.2 and two of which are 3.6 millimeters. With this setup, I'm able to get a reasonable burn at all levels of flame. The surging is caused by the explosive vaporization of the volatile alcohol in the burner head. You just kind of have to live with a little surging when you're using alcohol. This flame is still slightly rich and also it probably has some water in it too which is causing a little bit of that yellow. But I found that it works better to leave it a little rich than get too lean which can cause overheating of the outer cap metal. I don't worry about a dedicated alcohol cleaning needle. I just use a regular cleaning needle. Alcohol burns so well it doesn't really matter. Here I've got the stove back in its box so we can do a boil test for those people who like boil tests. I'm going to boil up 500 milliliters of water and time it. Uh, the water is like 66 degrees and I don't know whatever else you think is important about that. Put it in my little kettle and we'll go to town. So while we're waiting for water to boil and all that, um, I'll talk a little bit about alcohol. The best alcohol you can get is pure ethanol. It burns hotter than methanol. Methanol does not burn as hot. There's not as much energy in it. These days, because they want to put ethanol in gasoline, ethanol has gotten expensive. So when you buy denatured alcohol, you're going to get blends of ethanol and methanol and other chemicals. The other chemicals, like methanol, are really dirt cheap. This is currently using clean strip, uh, just regular, not the green, because I ran out of green on my testing. Um, this works okay, but, you know, it's almost up to like 50% methanol. If you can get the green stuff, it burns hotter and works better. When you do that, you're going to need to have a restrictor that has different size holes because there's more energy in the fuel you're going to have to have different hole sizes for that more energy so you know figure out what fuel you're going to use make your restrictor to work with the fuel you're going to use and the stove you have so i cut out all the waiting and we're coming up on boiling here and we'll take a look at how long it actually took to boil that 500 milliliters of water So we got a full rolling boil and it looks like about 5 minutes or so, 5 minutes and 11 seconds to boil that water. So a little longer than kerosene or white gas, but surprisingly not as long as one would think. So here's the hobby tubing that comes in 1 foot lengths from my local hobby store. I'm sure you have the same. And I want to talk about those other restrictors there. The top one is the one that came out of the Homestrand Mariner stove. The middle one is the one that is packaged with the Optimus 111 stove, and it is not intended for use with alcohol. It is intended for use with white gas when using the standard kerosene jet with an Optimus 111T stove. It works great. Try it. The bottom one, this one right in the center of the frame, is the one I made. And you can make them too. Again, start the holes smaller than you need and gradually make them larger, testing as you go until you get everything squared away. By using three holes at one end and four holes at the other, you can set up one restrictor to burn either heavy methanol fuels or pure ethanol. Just flip the restrictor in the burner to change over your alcohol fuel. You can use these techniques to convert any regulated silent burner, whether it's for a 111T or a, a three-legged stove, any regulated silent burner to burn on alcohol. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. If you liked it, please link, like, and subscribe.